guys welcome back today I am gonna do a what I eat in a day while pregnant I am in my 12th week okay set y'all down I am in my I don't know how flattering this is I'm in my 12th week of pregnancy and um, I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day while pregnant so um, this is the first one I eat a day while pregnant and I used to all y'all I know most of y'all have been here for that um, I used to do what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers and those will come back as soon as this pregnancy is done. I am um, somewhat still trying to do the best I can and then, um, you know, trying to eat what sounds good as well, especially in still in my first trimester, having food aversions and things like that. Anyways, I'll talk more about that later. I'm going to make some breakfast real quick. I've got to take the kiddos somewhere this morning. So let's make some breakfast this morning. For breakfast, we're gonna make like a yogurt bowl. We're gonna take some of this um, Greek vanilla yogurt. Some in the bowl. Yeah, you can have some. We'll share, okay? I'll make, okay, I'll make enough for us. All right, and then I've got lots of fruit. I've got strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. All right, look. Let me get the granola. Then we're gonna take some of this honey bunches of oats, honey roasted granola. Right, I'm gonna take just a good helping of that. Where's the cookie monster? More. All right, and here is my breakfast this morning. All right, we've got a yogurt fruit granola bowl. I think the kids want to share with me. <laughs> Looks good. All right, you like the granola and yogurt? It is so yummy. Yeah. This granola is delicious. This is the first time I've ever had this granola. It's yummy. <laughs> More, the kids really like it. Do you like the granola part? They really love the fruit ah. and yogurt. I like it. <laughs> so yummy. This was delicious. So I got a grocery order yesterday and I really wanted something to get me out of my eggs, hash browns, and toast thing that I eat all the time. And I still eat that a lot. So my go-to breakfast even like the past several weeks while pregnant and while I was on Weight Watchers it was the same eggs and hash browns and maybe like a piece of toast so I really wanted something a little bit different so I was like Let me make like a granola bowl and it was so delicious so I'm gonna really enjoy this this week all right I'm taking the girls to their little activity today but I came to my favorite local coffee shop and they have such a good caramel iced latte so I have came here for like three days straight and got one because it is just so good so drinking that as well all right we ran errands and then it is like 1 15 now which is a little bit later than i eat lunch but i am so excited to share factor with y'all i just got my factory meals in today they came this morning so i'm getting ready to open those up and see what i want to have today if you have never heard of factor i have a really good discount code with them and i'm so excited to try everything in this box they have a ton of different meals each week to choose from and what i love about them is they are ready made they're never frozen and you just pop them in the microwave for a couple minutes you can also do it in the oven if you prefer that and they are so easy and ready to go for a super quick lunch so yeah they are ready to eat meals they're delivered straight to your door you can go online each week and pick the meals that you want there are lots of really good options their meals are chef crafted and dietitian approved their meals include meat seafood and veggie based dishes and then they also have like preferences like calorie smart keto or chef's favorites and i decided to get factor i plan to get this a lot especially during the summer it's just really easy um for me to just throw in the microwave heat up especially while pregnant so many of these meals sound so delicious their menu looks so good um so i plan on doing this a ton during the summer um and i had a really good discount code with them so let me share some of the meals that I got. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do today. This is turkey, chili, and zucchini. One of them that looks really good that I might do is this one's chive and garlic chicken. This one looks really good too. Um, sun dried tomato chicken. I've got six different meals. I think I might do the chicken alfredo pasta today. Um, might go ahead and heat this up. This looks really good. It's got broccoli with it. Okay, and then this is the sun dried tomato chicken. And this looks delicious. I'm actually do this one. 
So like I shared, they have a really great looking menu. I'm gonna include the next week's menu here just so you can see everything there is to choose from. So like I said, they offer seafood, veggie, and meat options. They have keto, calorie smart, carb conscious, plant based. So you've got vegan and vegetarian options. Then you've got the Factor Plus, which is an add-on that you can choose from. Additional proteins, juices, soups, energy bites, veggie sides, and also desserts. And like I said, their meals are always fresh. They're never frozen. So if you also want to try Factor, I am going to leave um, the link below that'll take you that you can get up to 50% off your first box. And also my, co my code is HOMEWITHHALEY50. So that gets you up to 50% off your first box. So I'm going to leave that below. Let's go ahead and let me decide what I'm eating and we'll go ahead and get it cooked up. Okay, so this sun-dried tomato chicken looks absolutely delicious. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead, it has zucchini noodles too. I'm gonna go ahead and have this today. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. It takes just a couple minutes. You heat and eat in two minutes, no prep, no mess. And so we're gonna go ahead and cook that up and I'll try it on camera with y'all. All right, we're gonna give this a try. It looks yummy. so yummy. All right, try to get a little bit of everything. Hmm. Okay, that is a good lunch. That is so, it has such a good flavor to it. Full of flavor. It is so yummy. Link will be below. Go try out Factor if you've not tried them out. Use my code home with Haley 50 to make your lunch or dinner times even easier. It is a little after three, but our crock pot dinner is gonna take about three hours, so I need to go ahead and get it started. So I'll be, be ready by the time we're ready to eat. We're gonna make crock pot lasagna. This is like the easiest crock pot lasagna recipe, and it's delicious and easy and yummy and all the things. So I've got the ground beef. I got a pound of ground beef cooking up right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up all the cheese. All right, it's probably a little loud in here with the ground beef going, but we're gonna do two cups of ricotta cheese. Then we're going to add one egg. And then we're going to add a cup of mozzarella. And then I'm going to do about a half a cup of Parmesan. Give this all a good stir. And what I'm gonna add to this is I'm gonna add some of this Italian seasoning. This is just from Sam's Club. I'm gonna add a good serving of that in here. And I'll probably also add it to my meat sauce when I get that ready. All right, so I've got a pound, about a pound, I think it's slightly over that, of cooked ground beef. And then I'm gonna add a jar. This is just cheap, great value of um, pasta sauce. This is a 24 ounce jar. And then I'm gonna also season this really well with the Italian seasoning. So it's probably gonna get really loud in here. Ethan's also mowing our grass, so please ignore all the noise in the background. But I am, got all this. So I've also got, you can use regular lasagna noodles. Um, this is just all my grocery order had this week. And so I'm gonna use these. All right, two to the bottom of my crock pot. First of all, I'm gonna spray it. And then I'm gonna add a layer of meat sauce to the bottom. And then I'm gonna add a layer of the lasagna noodles. Not, they look like this. I'm just gonna cut, well, I'm just gonna kind of break them up to make them all fit. Kind of evenly coat to the bottom of this as well as I can. And then I'm gonna add a layer of the ricotta cheese mixture. All right, and then I'm gonna repeat these layers. So I'm gonna do more meat sauce. And then another layer of these. I think I'm just gonna do them like this. And then try to get the edges too. All right, and then another layer of the cheese. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off. do another layer if you wanted to um, but I'm just gonna finish it off this I think this will be plenty enough for us all right and then I'm gonna add the rest of the sauce make sure the 
noodles are covered. And then I'm gonna finish off with the rest of the mozzarella cheese. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Girls. And then I'm gonna do some more of this Italian to the top. And this is gonna cook on high for about three hours. That was a little chaotic with the kids in the background and then Ethan mowing the grass, but this is gonna cook on high for about three hours and then we will probably just have like garlic bread or something to go with it. Update on the lasagna. It's been going a little over two hours and I took a bite of it. It is, whoops, it is already done. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it cook for just a little bit longer. And go ahead and get the bread started. You, um, a salad would be really good with this too. I just didn't get salad stuff this week. But this is just the Walmart brand. Um, well, if I can turn around garlic bread. We're going to have that with it. We're going to get this cooked up. And then this looks really good. Alright. Dinner looks fabulous. And it's so easy. So let's do a serving of the lasagna. Then we're gonna cut into this garlic bread. All right, and I need to make the kids' plates, but super easy, super yummy dinner tonight. Cherry and green apple. Sour apple and cherry, right? Sour cherry. Sour apple and cherry. Okay, Mom, we. Mom. Can I have it's really that stuff's really really sour like um, super Mom, I want to say the I unicorn Lainey. the same as laney sour apple and cherry um, we are getting snow cones told the kids after dinner we'd come get snow cones Wait, dinner was delicious and with the like oven ready lasagna noodles it Mom, cooked like perfectly Mom, in like two hours Mom. but with regular ones yes i want to probably need the whole three the which one with the uh the unicorn one with the cream on top yeah, Mom. chocolate syrup. All right, I got sour apple and cherry. We all got kitty ones. Cal wanted green, so he got green apple. Mom, Mom. Delaney got Mom, what I got, but Mom. with marshmallows. Yeah, I'm gonna show him yours. Millie got something called a unicorn, and it has sprinkles and whipped cream on top. Daddy got grape, and Rin Rin. Oh, Rin, did you get a gummy off yours? <laughs> She snuck up here and grabbed a gummy. We're gonna wait till we get home to eat them. But she got something called shark attack. So, yummy. All right. So everybody got snow cones? Wow. Is it good, Cal? What color is yours, Cal Cal? Green. It's good. He likes green. Yours good, Ren? Ren, yours is like full of juice. They put like extra. They put extra in Ren's. What? It's got blue and then pink and then purple. It looks purple because of the sprinkles. Yummy. It has the marshmallow. Is it good? Snow cones were delicious. The kiddos are finishing up out here playing. We're getting ready to go in and do baths. Snow cones were good though. And dinner was good. So I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for what I ate today. Um, I'll definitely do more of these if y'all enjoy seeing what I eat on Weight Watchers and then just different meal ideas like supper things that are not necessarily Weight Watcher related. Um, but, thank you baby. Millie got me a flower. Rest assured. Weight Watchers stuff will eventually come back. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed. Come along for my day. Don't forget to check out the links below. Save money on Factor. I'm telling y'all that meal was so good today. I'm so excited to eat those the rest of the week. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.